Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at Proverbs. This is another Proverbs review. This is Proverbs review number three. On this channel, there are six Proverbs lessons and two Proverbs tests covering 30 Proverbs in total. If you haven't looked at those videos, it might help you with this review. And if you miss any of the questions, on this review, please go back and look at those Proverbs lessons. Review the Proverbs. Try to remember the Proverbs as much as you can. What is the best proverb? Bob loved apple pie, especially if the apples were very fresh. He planted an apple tree in his backyard. Bob waited several years for the tree to grow bigger and produce apples. Finally, he could pick fresh apples from his very own tree. The pie he baked was the most delicious he had ever eaten. Can you think of a good proverb for this story? Here's a hint. Come to those who wait. Do you know the beginning of this proverb? Here's the answer. All good things come to those who wait. Next, Jim went on an ocean cruise for the first time. He went by himself. The first few days, Jim had trouble meeting new people. Everyone seemed to spend time together based on common interests. In the end, Jim started taking yoga lessons at the cruise ship's gym. He could make friends with other people who liked yoga. Can you think of a proverb that goes with this story? Here's a hint. Blah, blah, blah. Flock together. Do you know this one? Here's the answer. Birds of a feather flock together. Next. Anne wanted to get a copy of a new book on the first day it was released. She went to the bookstore near her home the night before the release day. There were already some people camped out, waiting for the store to open. All of the people waited through the night, and were the first to enter the shop. Anne could get a copy of the book easily before they all sold out. What's a good proverb for this story? Any ideas? Here's a hint. Catches the worm. Do you know this one? Here's the answer. The early bird catches the worm. Next. Bob bought a used cabinet at a garage sale. When he took it home and put it in his living room, he found a problem. The cabinet was not balanced. One of the feet was too short. Bob thought for a while and decided to put a drink coaster under that foot. The cabinet was now balanced thanks to Bob's quick thinking. Can you think of a proverb for this story? I'll give you a hint. Blah, blah, blah is the mother of invention. What's the beginning? Here's the answer. Necessity is the mother of invention. Next, Jim had back pain and didn't know what to do. Jim's friend recommended some stretches that Jim could do before sleeping. The friend also suggested buying a new mattress, as Jim's was old and lumpy. Jim didn't think those ideas would help him, but he tried them anyway. Jim's back pain disappeared soon. His friend's ideas were right. What's a proverb that you could use with this story? Here's a hint for one idea. Blah, blah, blah is in the eating. Do you know this one? Here's the answer. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Next. Anne's friend had the latest model of smartphone. Anne's smartphone was only two years old, but she felt very jealous. 
Her friend told her that the two models were almost the same. There were no big changes between the newest model and Anne's model. Still, Anne decided to upgrade her smartphone to the same model as her friend's. What's a proverb you can use here? Here's a hint. Blah, blah, blah on the other side of the fence. Do you know the beginning of this proverb? Here's the answer. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Next. Bob had loved Anne since they were in high school. They had never dated because Anne always had a boyfriend. Later, Bob got married to someone else. Anne also got married. When they were older, they met again. Their marriages both failed. Because they were single, they started dating and got married soon after. What's a proverb you can use here? I'll give you a hint. Blah, blah, blah. Then never. You know this one? Here's the answer. Better late than never. Next. Jim's apartment was very messy. When Jim stopped using something, he never threw it away. He just kept it. Eventually, there was no space in Jim's apartment for new things. Jim decided to put all of his old things in his closet and never open the door. If he couldn't see that junk, his apartment felt cleaner. Can you think of a good proverb to use with this story? Here's a hint for one idea. Blah, 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 out of mind. Do you know the beginning of this one? Here's the answer. Out of sight, out of mind. Next. Anne went to her friend's party. There were a lot of people that she didn't know. One man started chatting with Anne. His clothes were old and not stylish. He hadn't shaved recently and looked kind of sloppy. Anne wasn't interested in talking to him, so she excused herself and walked away. Later, Anne learned that the man was actually famous and very rich. What's a proverb you can use here? Let me give you a hint. Blah, 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 by its cover. You know this one? Here's the answer. Don't judge a book by its cover. Next. Bob was invited to go for drinks with co-workers after work. He knew that his wife was making dinner, but he wanted to have some fun. Bob called his wife and told her that he would not be home for dinner. When she asked why, Bob thought about lying and saying he had a sudden meeting. In the end, he apologized and told her the true reason. Luckily, she wasn't angry. What's a proverb we can use here? Here's a hint. Blah, blah, blah is the best policy. Do you know the beginning? The answer is... Honesty is the best policy. Proverbs are set phrases. It's important to remember the complete sentence, the complete set, when you're speaking. If you learn lots of proverbs, it should help your listening, because native speakers like using proverbs. It should also help your reading, because you might find these proverbs when you read novels or stories. And also, it will make your speaking sound more natural if you can use proverbs sometimes in your conversations. If you missed any of these proverbs, please go back and check the six proverbs lessons on this channel. Remember to practice aloud. Say everything aloud. Use your mouth. Then your mouth can become comfortable with the sound and the rhythm 
of these proverbs, and your mouth also helps train your ears. Thank you for watching.